Hey, it's Dusty Showers from Creepy Creatures, Termite and Pest Control in Palm Harbor, Florida, and MrPestGuy.com. Do you have German roaches? Or even roaches? This stuff, Alpine, is awesome for roaches. Alpine is my number one brand when it comes for roaches. It comes like this in a syringe where it'll have a little tip on here and a plunger, but it also comes as a dry formula, and it works just as well if you want to put it in a pump sprayer and dilute it in water. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and even hit that bell thingy so you get notified when we put new videos out. This stuff is super simple to put out. So in a scenario, let's say you've got German roaches in your kitchen. Take this as a syringe, and you just put little dabs of it, like just little tiny dots all around places. I'll show you when we go inside. It's too hot out here. Let's go inside. Alpine roach bait is ridiculously simple to use. Let me show you. First, all we need is just a little bit. Take so a little bit. we'll take a dab here, and that's about all you need. See, it doesn't take much. To give you an idea, that's how big my finger is. Just a little bit. Now here's some great places for it. So inside a cabinet, German roaches love to get in here. So we put just a little dab in there, not much. We'll put a little dab in here. And you can get creative. It doesn't have to be in those exact places. So you can go behind here, we put a little bit up there, put a little bit in the corner. So when you're putting this out, it's invisible. People have no idea that this stuff is here. Just lift this up, put a little bit on the underside right here. You can get creative. Like these little holes in here, just a little touch in there. It hardly takes any at all. Take that, rub it off, use gloves. Don't smear it with your fingers like I do, but it's so ridiculously simple to smear with your fingers. And the toxicity is so low that uh, there won't be any issues with it. But if you're gonna do that, wear some rubber gloves. And you can really just go to any of the cabinets. So we'll go to this one. Mm, this one, we'll put it right in here. This one, we'll put it up there. It just really takes little tiny dabs. And if we wanna do it, we can put it in all the cabinets. See, this isn't brain surgery. You can pay my company to come out and do this for $150 or you can buy this Alpine and do it yourself. Just stick a little bit of a dab right there and just move along. Now the one place that you do wanna really make sure that you hit is under the sink. So get under here and here there's different places you can hit, but I like to get back where these pipes are. And sorry, I'm shooting and bending over and I've got a knee replacement and everything, but you get the idea. You can put this up anywhere and it's invisible. You're never gonna know that it's there. Just stick a little bit of that hole, put a little bit there, a little bit there. And you can see that's all that you need to put on. And if it smears, that's okay. Because if it smears, it's just gonna smell more. This isn't just for German roaches. However, if you have German roaches, put this out, just dab it all over like I showed you and it will get rid of them. I absolutely guarantee it 100%. If you don't have roaches, put it out as a preventative. It's awesome, it's very inexpensive. Anybody can do it, ridiculously simple. All you're really paying is somebody to come out that knows number one, what product to use, and you're just paying them to drive out and walk around your house, which we're happy to do that. I know a lot of people don't wanna do that, but if you're the kind of person that wants to do these things yourself, maybe save some money, get a hold of Alpine. Put it out, it'll take care of the problem. Sorry, if you heard heavy breathing during this video, I had dogs following me the whole time. Which by the way, Alpine is safe for dogs if you use it according to the label. Don't let them get into it, don't feed it to them, but assuming you're using it per the label, label is the law, that it's gonna be safe for dogs. Uh, so just make sure that you put it in places where dogs aren't gonna get it. But even if they do, um, it's, a, it's a great product to use. We actually do free pest control for the Humane Society in our county and we use Alpine all over there. So again, use it according to the label, but it's a great product, especially to use around pets. And also remember my wife is a cancer researcher and we also have five daughters. We use all these same products at my house. This isn't just for German roaches. However, if you have German roaches, put this out, just dab it all over like I showed you and it will get rid of them. I absolutely guarantee it 100%. If you don't have roaches, put it out as a preventative. It's awesome, it's very inexpensive. 
anybody can do it. Ridiculously simple. All you're really paying is somebody to come out that knows number one, what product to use, and you're just paying them to drive out and walk around your house, which we're happy to do that. I know a lot of people don't wanna do that, but if you're the kind of person that wants to do these things yourself, maybe save some money, get a hold of Alpine. Put it out, it'll take care of the problem. Like I mentioned, using roach bait like this makes pest control ridiculously simple. One of the weird things is that German roaches are supposed to be one of the most difficult insects to control. But if you have a tube of the Alpine, it makes it one of the easiest jobs. It's totally turned things around for the pest control industry. We can go out to most houses and in one visit, everything is gone. But the one thing that you need to understand is attrition. And what happens with attrition is a, a lot of people have the expectation that you come out and you spray for bugs. And once you spray, all the bugs are gonna be gone the next day. But you're relying on the bug to come into contact with that, with the product. And so if they eat it, they first have to find it. Or if it's a product that you spray, they have to walk through it. And that doesn't always happen right away. So what happens through attrition is, say you have a thousand roaches, which would be a lot, but with German roaches, that's entirely possible. So you have a thousand roaches. After day one, you might have killed off 800 roaches. So now there's 200 roaches left. But maybe after a week, a hundred of those are gone. And then after another week, it just keeps dwindling down farther and farther until eventually it hits a point where just the population can no longer thrive. So instead of a growing population, you have a shrinking population. And that could take 30 days. It could take a little bit longer than 30 days. So if we do get callbacks, a lot of times it's from people that are saying like a month later, hey, I just saw one roach, I just saw two roaches after they had tons of roaches. They were seeing them everywhere, and now they're only seeing one or two. And from our perspective, that's not a problem. That means everything is solved. From our customer's perspective, though, they still think they have a problem. In a lot of those cases, we'll go out just so that they're happy with everything and feel like they're being taken care of because we don't want anyone to live like that. But in the reality is, we don't have to treat anything because we put it out and it stays out forever. Not really forever, but it stays out a really, really long time. It's important to understand the difference between a product that kills on contact and a product that is transferable and a product that is a non-repellent. In the olden days, most of the products were repellent, so they had a smell to them. The, the bugs knew that they were there. And so what would happen is you spray a perimeter treatment around your house and the bugs don't want to cross that line, so they don't come into the house. Well, nowadays, most of the products are non-repellent, so there's no odor to them. There's no indication for the bugs to think that there's anything there, so they walk right through them. And then the second part of that kicks in, which is transferable, or the transfer effect. So they walk through it, but it doesn't kill them right away. And unfortunately, a lot of people want to see their bugs die right away but this is actually better than killing them on contact. So they pick it up and through the transfer effect, when they go back to their nest or they go back to their harborage, and this works for ants and roaches and, and any other bugs that tend to live in colonies, uh, it'll even work on spiders. So on a side note, when you have spiders, you don't typically treat for spiders, but you treat for what spiders are eating because they are, they, they're insectivores or carnivores, depending on how big they are, but they always eat something else that's living. So you find out what that is and you take care of that animal. So say you have ants in the house, your spiders are eating your ants, treat the ants. And if you use an ant, if you use an ant product, like what I show you, that has the transfer effect even after the ants die. So the, the ants, if they pick it up and then the spiders eat them, that spider is gonna die as well. Now, spiders aren't gonna eat dead ants, or it's pretty much unlikely, if not impossible. But if the, spider, if the ants already pick that product up and then they get eaten before they die, your spiders are gonna die as well. So it works great that way. But if you eliminate whatever the spiders are eating, your spiders will go away. So I digress. But so the transfer effect is really awesome. And because of some insects, especially ants, do what's called trophallaxis, which is pretty much they, there's varying ways of doing it. But to keep it simple, they puke up their food to feed it to other ants. So they, um, they pass things along that way. And with the transfer effect, you get ants that go out in the field and they pick up like the bait, the alpine bait that we put out. And then when they come back, they groom the other animals or cockroaches say they'll groom the other cockroaches or they'll kiss them and hug them and high five them and everything. Or with the ants, they'll 
uh, do the trophallaxis, and then they pass it on to the other ants uh, in the nest or the roaches in the harborage, and then they all die. So the downside is, is these products that are non-resistant or non-repellent rather, they don't necessarily keep bugs out because they don't know that it's there, so they walk through it. But once they come in, then they die. This can be frustrating for a lot of people because they, they just don't want bugs coming into their house and seeing them, even if they're dead, we get phone calls from people saying, hey, you know, I've, I've got bugs in my house, they're dead, but I'm seeing bugs in my house and we really can't kill them anymore, but there are some products that we can put around the perimeter of the house. We'll talk about that in another video. Those are uh, typically micro encapsulated products that they weather very well. So especially here in Florida where it's 95 degrees out now and there's some rain in every day you need to have products on the outside that are going to last a long time so keep things simple we're going to stick with the alpine i know that you get a lot of opinions from different people especially if you're on the internet you're going to give people especially boric acid stay away from the boric acid yes it works it's an insecticide it's a soap it's all these other different things but it's just not practical if you've got germ roaches or any bad roach case for that matter you need to use something that works and boric acid works but the bugs have to go through it first they have to pick it up there's no transfer effect and then you have to put it kind of everywhere and if you don't necessarily know all the places where the roaches are going then the boric acid isn't going to be very effective uh, it also has no antidote very low toxicity but there's no antidote for it so you want to make sure that you don't um, od on it because that would be bad news but we go into homes that have just piles of boric acid everywhere and they still got roaches and they still got ants so there's much much easier ways to do it in the products like alpine the toxicity is so low use it according to the label and you're just not going to have any problems i've got five daughters i've got two dogs i rescue dogs i have a wife that's a cancer researcher this is a product that we use in our house and i'm incredibly comfortable using it in our house the other thing you know, all those people that are online selling your products, or if you go into your do-it-yourself store, how do they really know if this works? They're making money from it. This is how you know it works for me. This is my website. I know it doesn't show up very well here, but you can go check it out yourself. Uh, the, the long version is palmharbortermiteandpestcontrol.com. Uh, you should be able to just go to creepycreatures.net, and that will forward to the website. But right here, it says, our bold, no risk, no bull, unmatched 110 percent make you happy or you don't pay money back guarantee you will be 100 percent happier you won't pay a penny i guarantee it now that is for my pest control business where we come out and do the service where we come out to people's houses and we put alpine out that guarantee applies to that so if you call me and have us come out to your house that guarantee applies I've gone back and forth with trying to guarantee any products that if you buy it Alpine online, but the truth is, is I don't know how you're going to use it. So, um, so this guarantee is just for my business, but Google it, Google me personally, put dusty showers, um, just put my name in Google, uh, put dusty showers, pest control, put dusty showers, breast cancer, dog rescue, whatever. You'll see what I do. And so when hopefully you see that, you'll know that you can trust me when I say just use Alpine. You don't have to hire a company to come out to take care of your roaches. So uh, and check out all the videos while you're on there too. I got lots of really, really cool stuff. So I want to give you a bonus tip. If you're looking to just do regular pest control in your house or you're seeing some other roaches, like the longer roaches, people freak out because they see the big roaches. But actually the, the bigger ones aren't as bad. It's the small little German roaches that are the problem. But a lot of times your attic is a place where they love to hang out. And the attic is a hard place to access for a lot of people. So here's a little bonus tip. What you can do is take your tube of Alpine, take anything like a golf ball, uh, multiple golf balls, tennis ball. You can even go out and, and pull off like some tree bark or, or sticks, anything that you can throw. And what you're gonna do is throw it up in your attic. I know, I know it sounds hokey. Uh, professor, we don't do it, we just go up in the attic. But if you don't wanna crawl up in your attic, just take, so let's just say take uh, some old tennis balls. Um, just put a couple dabs of the Alpine on the tennis balls and toss them into your attic. Toss them way back as far as you can. And then around the hatch, hit it with a couple drops of, uh, of the Alpine. 
that's going to take care of any roaches that are living up in your attic. Then if you want to do a little bit more, just take some of that alpine gel and put it around any opening around the house. And that's going to include uh, under your sinks, uh, sliding glass doors. Like the big place where roaches and other bugs and even little snakes will come in is, is where the sliding glass doors meet. So you know how you have two panes and they slide like that, the top and the bottom put a couple dabs of the roach bait up there. So if anything comes through, they're gonna find that bait. And then hit the bathrooms. Go into uh, any of the bathrooms in your house and just up around the plumbing, put a couple dabs around there. Roaches love moisture and roaches love heat. So find any place that has those two things and put that alpine bait out there and you're gonna kill every roach in the house. Now, I'm really trying to cover everything, but if there's anything that I missed or you've had any good or bad experiences, leave a comment below. Be sure to like the video, comment, share it. Tell your friends, let them know that they can save some money. It's not that difficult to do yourself. Even if you hate bugs, anyone can do it because it's not like you're out there looking at bugs, you're just putting up where bugs kind of hang out sometimes, right? Hey, thanks for watching my videos. If you like them, please like, subscribe, Leave a comment below and tell your friends about it. And of course, like always, be kind to pit bulls, possums, and you don't have to be kind to roaches, but at least be humane when you're killing them. I mean, like, don't twist their head off or pull their legs off or anything like that. Just put out some alpine bait and let them go on their own. Sit, possum, sit. Good possum.